Hey everyone, this is Collapse and Protect, and today I wanted to take a look at how to stockpile your ammunition for the long term. Now normally, I just order the ammo cans full of whatever round I'm stockpiling and throw that into my ammo safe. But I'm graduating to a method that I believe to be a lot more practical. This method is going to allow me to store a lot of ammo for the long term while keeping it compact, portable, and ready to deploy at a moment's notice. So let's grab our supplies and get started. So here we've got a brand new mil-spec PA-108 ammo can, more widely known as the Fat 50. This is a new production can that I picked up from cleanammocans.com for $39.99. The shipping was really fast and it looks like it's in great shape with no dents or dings, and it feels really sturdy with a nice rubber seal underneath the lid. This is going to be perfect for our long-term storage. Now let's grab our ammo. I went with a bulk pack of M193 and 556, 55 grain from Lake City Ammunition. I've always preferred the M193 and it's manufactured by Lake City, which is the same supplier of the United States military. If or when I open this long-term ammo storage, I want it to work, so going with a reputable ammunition supplier is a must for me. 1,000 rounds of this stuff cost around $480. Lastly, let's get our magazines. These are Generation 2 PMAGs and I bought a lot of them. PMAGs have been proven to be reliable and are used by military, law enforcement, and recreational shooters all over the world. If you look around for deals, you can get these for pretty cheap. I picked these up for $6.99 a piece. Okay, so here comes the tedious part, putting all of this together. Just put on your favorite podcast or TV show and get to loading up your PMAGs. I'd highly recommend wearing some gloves for this next part. I know it sounds weird, but given how turbulent our society and the world around us has become, the benefits of not having your fingerprints all over these casings are numerous. Think about what would happen if war came to our country. A number of people would probably take up arms to defend our homeland, much like the Ukrainians have in theirs. Maybe you feel the need to simply defend your own community. Both sides of the conflict have been using various technologies in order to identify who is part of the opposition, including logging biometric data like fingerprints. Wearing gloves will help prevent anyone from tracing one of these shell casings back to you. And what if you aren't even part of the fight? What if you just voluntarily gave ammunition to another individual who was capable of fighting like military or local law enforcement? Your fingerprints are still on those casings and you can bet that upon identifying them, the invading faction will come knocking at your door and accuse you of conspiring with the enemy at the very least. So just throw on some gloves for some extra peace of mind. It's worth it. I'm loading these with 28 rounds per mag to decrease the tension slightly and make them run more reliably when it's time to use them. It looks like we can fit 28 loaded P mags in this Fat 50 can. That's exactly 784 rounds of 5.56 ready to be stored, transported, or shot at a moment's notice. So what's the total cost of putting a unit like this together? The ammo can plus the PMAGs and the ammo all come out to $620. If ammo becomes scarce again like it did in the year 2020, then this is an investment that will surely pay off. I'm sure you could cut some corners and find some used GI mags, a used ammo can, and some steel case 223, but for long-term, ready at a second's notice ammo storage, do you really want to skimp out? Ultimately, it's up to you, but I'm going to stick with reliable components sourced from reputable suppliers. Last but not least, I threw in a new moisture absorbing desiccant pack before sealing it up just for good measure. The final product weighs about 35.8 pounds and packs a lot of firepower in a small form factor. This is something that I can grab quickly and throw in my truck, carry in one hand, and even shove into a sturdy backpack if I really needed to. When I'm ready to use it, I can pop the top on the ammo can and charge up a fresh mag, restock my plate carrier, or hand out some much needed ammo to others in a shitty situation. At this point, I can't think of a better way to store loaded mags safely, but if you know of any, let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoy this kind of stuff and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, have fun and be safe.